I'm John. And I'm Dave. And you're watching The, the Guitar, Guitar Guys. Guys. They're teachers by day and guitar daddies by night. So Dave, what's this Guitar Guys about? Well, it's not so much about really cool guitar players, but it's about the really cool guitars that they play. Let's go visit a friend of mine, Ernie Bach Jr., who has the ultimate man cave. Hey guys, yeah, come on up. I'm not one for autographed guitars, right. you know, because I like to play the guitars. I've actually had autographed guitars that I've played and the autograph has worn off. This is the Rolling Stones, everybody but Brian Jones, Ronnie Wood signed it, Ozzy Osbourne and Zach Wilde. This is the Duo Jet, the George Harrison model. This guitar is brand new, yet it looks 30 or 40 years old. This is such an interesting guitar. It's, it's a very, very light wood. It's actually the lightest one he's ever made. And this, is, this black is from a torch being burnt and the red is snake blood. So these guys are a match, huh? Yeah, look Same at Same guitar. As a matter of fact, this guitar is from 1942, and this is the brand new version of that guitar. So there's a lot of guitars to look at here. I'd like to play every one of them. Oh! Dave. Yes? What are we gonna do about Ernie's guitar? What do you mean, we? Well, do you think we can fix it? I think Jim Meridian can probably glue a broken bridge back on. Jim Meridian, the guitar black belt, the guitar sensei, the guitar master. Yeah, he'll chop it back into shape. To the X-Mobile! What happened? We go to my friend Ernie's house. We're looking at all these beautiful guitars and... When you were a little kid, did your dad say to you, you know, a good glue joint stronger than the wood itself? Huh. Well, this way you'll get it back, possibly even sounding better than it ever did. The, uh, the question I have for you is, yeah. can you take care of this for us now, or is anybody ahead of me? The guitar ahead of you right now is this 59 Les Paul. This particular beauty belongs to Jay Giles. <laughs> Let's say, John, and I didn't come in here to bother you. Yeah. Uh, if you were going to get started on this guitar, what would you do first? The first thing that has to be addressed is that all the physics of the instrument, all the geometry of a given instrument are correct. This is how you can check to see if the neck has adequate bow in it. <laughs> wow. The next step involves my favorite tool in the whole shop. Bounty. Every adjustment affects every other adjustment. This guitar could belong to Jay or it could belong to, you know, some 12-year-old kid who's just beginning. So when I look at this guitar, I look at the fingerboard and I see all the stories inside of it. There's like a, a, a mark here. I don't know if you can mm -hmm. see it, but it's, it's going across here. It looks like it could have been a crack of something. Oh, it's more than a crack, my friend. Well, I would think that if, the, if that broke off like that, I mean, the It'd guitar be would be, yeah, you just throw the guitar in the, in the bin. Nothing could be further from the truth, my friend. Really? Grasshopper. As I was removing these strings, the D string got caught in the nut slot. I want to fret this note. It's showing you how the string is vibrating. I'll just play it and it'll be our little secret. I'm just messing around with harmonics. I really like the way they sound, but I can only get them to play at a couple of spots on the neck. I'd like to learn how Steve Morse does them all over the place. Oh, I've seen him do that. He has this thing that he does where he's got the, you know, a finger down here, and then another index finger up here, 12 frets higher, and then he's picking, and then holding the guitar like this. Oh, like, you mean you press it right here like this? Uh, almost. Um, you know what? Steve Morse is coming to Berkeley. Well, let's have him show us. Minor. Well, originally, the only instrument I played was whatever the school band assigned you. Back in that day, the whole family sat around the TV. We're now on the Beatles. That seems like fun. Yeah. It was rock and roll. So you're playing the guitar, you're hooked but you started to do some weird stuff. You were chopping things up and, and changing stuff around. At one point I had the same pickup in two different positions and I discovered this is the place for it. 
not this. It's lively, and, and it sounds acoustically lively, too. When we... You're just playing it on amplifier. The main thing is the volume control. Put it where I can reach it. That same with the tone control. I, if I'm playing and I, and I want to add delay, I just push down on the pedal. You were playing a little earlier and it was beautiful. Some of the things you were doing, it looked almost like you were doing two things with your right hand. If you start with this chord and invert that chord by taking this bottom note up an octave, all you do is, is touch over the fret, not in between the frets, but over the fret wire, yeah. 12 frets above, stop the string just for an instant at the same time you strike it, then lift. There we go. Yeah, there it is. Now, do that with the chord is where you can hear the other note. Great show today, huh? huh? That was a blast. You know, I love this because we get to sit around and talk about our favorite topic, guitars, with people who really know about them. Yeah, let's hope that Jim Meridian knows enough to be able to really fix Ernie Do you think he's going to be able to get it fixed? There's a few people in front of you, Dave, but uh, like they say in show business, don't call us, we'll call you. Mm -hmm.